What's going on guys, it's Fig Thriller, and today we're going to talk a little bit about Oddball and the Suppressor in Halo 4. Now, Oddball is a game that bounces around in my mind as whether or not it's frustrating because when you win, it seems kind of easy and it seems really fun, but when you're losing and you just can't get to that Oddball, it really, really sucks and it's really infuriating. Um... I, I know it's a game mode that's been around forever. I think it used to... Was it ever free-for-all, too? Was this game ever a free-for-all game mode? Because I seem to remember maybe it was just custom games back in Halo 1 or something like that. But teamwork is so essential, and if you find a team that is really, really working together, then you're going to have a really bad time. If they can communicate and they have strategy and... Um, they know what they're doing you're probably gonna lose unless you're doing the same thing with your team and then it comes down to who does it better and probably the biggest bitch move in oddball that everybody knows of is throwing the ball off the uh, off the edge of the map right before you die and then if you're really good you have your teammates line up where the ball is gonna spawn and uh, you pick it up and rinse and repeat and I hate that tactic I was actually talking to my buddy and uh, we, we sort of both agree that that tactics for noobs and young women who want to play this game and not follow the rules. Anyway, um, we were thinking it would be kind of cool if they had a penalty when you threw the ball over the edge. If you uh, maybe if you lost all the points that you just earned, do you think that would be a fair penalty to keep people from doing it? Because I mean, unless it's unless you guys all think it's a legitimate strategy, I know people in the Halo universe are really touchy about their their traditional game modes and their their rules and well it's been like this since Halo 1 so we're not changing it now type thing um, so maybe that's the case on this but it, it's really frustrating when when you finally chase somebody down and or you're, you're trying to follow the ball because you think somebody like dropped it but it's actually fallen off the map and you get way out of position and things like that so what do you guys think would be a good penalty or if there shouldn't be a penalty just say that um, I think it should be you lose any of the points you just earned in that ball carry so if you were beasting and you got um, if you got a minute and a half down and then you you threw it off the edge and even if like I, I know you can throw the uh, the ball in this and you couldn't do that in other games but I mean even if it's like an accident and you're dancing around the edge and somebody like melees you and you go flying and the ball goes off like that's sort of your fault too that's the risk you have at playing at the edge of of the map that's what I would that's what I would like to see done um, a few tips for oddball I, I honestly um, it's just about weapon selection and positioning you know playing smart and obviously teamwork if you have friends but if you don't have anyone that you can really uh, plan it out with and go all MLG oddball on people uh, your best bet is to just try to time things right because I found uh, there's there's waves that happen in oddball it's like there's the big fights and there's there's three kinds of people there's people who start the big fights there's people everybody who dies in the middle of the big fights and there's the cleanup crew is the third group of people that come up and you know they clean up that one last guy or the guy carrying the ball uh, and then they steal the ball and they run away usually it's one person or one or two people on one team end up running away and then the, the cycle repeats itself so it's it's like really tough if you're one of those people that always begins the fight if you start the fight every every time you'll probably never touch the ball because you're always first in first to start like stirring shit up and probably the first to die because you can't really you can't really get in a group of enemies in this game and live for very long uh, so if you time it right, you know, you linger back and you, you pull your headshots when you can with your long range weapons, then that's great. Um, I'm not using a long range weapon in this. I'm using the suppressor, which is by golly a weirdo weapon. Um, I hated this weapon at first. I absolutely hated the suppressor. Uh, it has it has some weird features that I think make, uh, make it have some getting used to. Uh, first and foremost, it's a super close range weapon. Um, not as close as like the shotgun or anything, like you're not going to outshoot a shotgun. 
but um, you you got crazy bloom on the reticle, and you're not gonna you got crazy spread. You're not gonna kill too many people from far away. Right here is probably your max distance, and I don't even get the kill. I have to follow it up with a pistol melee, and uh, so this is a good this is a good weapon to use on a map this size if you're gonna take up the role of sort of like a midfield slayer. That's how I like to sort of think about it. And I know everyone likes to say, oh, I'm a slayer, an objective type, uh, objective game type. But no, what I, what I actually mean is a good strategy on this is to uh, have a couple people escort the bomb guy around, but then it, it works well if somebody, one or two people, go out and start looking for a fight away from the bomb site. You know, keep people on their toes, keep the enemy, you know, feeling very unsafe and you know, F their day up. Like, F their day up across the map. If you can go and start fights halfway across the map from where the bomb actually is, you're gonna you're gonna earn your teammates some extra time holding that bomb as I nearly grenade my teammate. Nice job. Nice job, big thriller. Good job. Um, so the suppressor, it's super close range and uh, it fires wicked fast. But it also reloads with the fast. You see how fast that reload was? You can get back in the fight, like practically immediately. It's it's almost it it's almost. Watch this stick. I think it's a stick. Well, I got the kill anyway. All those medals popped up. But I, it was like a hail mary. Hail mary. It was a pretty awesome kill. But as you, as you guys are gonna see, we actually lose this match, which is kind of depressing. Uh, but it was a really hard-fought match, and it was really fun. This is this is the best kind of oddball. So um, let me know what you guys think of oddball, and let me know what you think of the suppressor, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.